Hi everyone, Charlie here with my friend Erin. Hello. And I'm excited today because Erin is a genetic specialist. Now, we came into contact probably about a year ago or something, mm -hmm. and I think it was through human design. Correct. So that was the uh, initial contact, Erin reached out about human design. And we ended up going on a journey for about uh, 12 weeks of coaching and there was a lot of human design. And there was a lot of like intuitive eating and more sort of tuning into your body because you've got all this knowledge of like, what is it, 15 years or? Yeah, 15 years I've been in clinical genetics. So that's pretty hectic. That's pretty <laughs> yeah. hectic. It's a lot of thinking to get into that for 15 years. Right. So you've got all this like really interesting knowledge but then there was like something still missing. Correct. And it was like maybe more of that intuitive, your uniqueness, rather than just like super masculine, like this is this has to happen. So I thought I'd get Aaron here because it was interesting throughout the coaching, something that kept coming up was um, like where you wanted to live, like your environment, because you're right. a projector. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, if you're a projector, you know, your environment's very important. And at the time you were living where? In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. And uh, we were having a lot of conversations and it was just like, it wasn't happening for you. You're like, no, like, I, I want to move somewhere. I want to move somewhere. And here we are. We actually live about 100 <laughs> yards from each other in Boulder, Colorado. And we arrived like a few days apart. Right. So it was pretty, pretty wild how that ended up uh, happening. So yeah, Erin's so close. I often see her when I go for a walk or you just came around for some food. Right. And uh, thought jump on camera and share a little bit about your history um, with genetics. You know, some people probably have health issues mm -hmm. and they're wondering, you know, do I go to a naturopath? Do I just go on and get some healthy recipes? Do I go to a functional medicine doctor? Do I go to a Western doctor? Then you're there also offering like a sort of genetic way of doing things. Correct. So I'm curious, like, what's the benefit? Like, why would someone even do that? Yeah, and there's a few different types of genetics. And so what I used to do is more clinical genetics in a hospital system where, and what I did a lot of is oncology genetics. So someone had cancer at a young age or lots of cancer in their family. And then you can do a test to confirm if that runs in the family and then take some pretty aggressive steps to keep mm. that from happening, like surgeries or medication, or a lot of people just live in fear then that they're going to get cancer. And I'll just jump in there because that's a really interesting point. I remember when I first spoke to you, uh, you were saying about genetics and you were saying, yeah, like this is what I worked in. I worked in like, you know, catching the probability of someone getting cancer. And then we'd like tell them that they're like high probability of getting cancer. And for me, like when I heard that, I was like, shit, that's like really based in fear. Right. Like if you told me those words and I didn't really have the awareness of like that I could shift my mind, that I could shift my awareness, all these things. And I'm just being told straight up, you've got a high chance of getting cancer. That would like be the worst thing I could hear. Yeah. And I'd probably manifest that through fear. Right. So I was like, oh, wow. Like you were sort of bathing in that energy for a long time. Mm -hmm. But yet... You probably thought it was really positive, but also it was like there was fear weaved right into it. Yeah, and I mean, it's one gene and we have like 20,000, so they all interact and there was so much focus on this one and wow. not anything environmental hmm. or things that you could do to kind of turn that around. And so it, it was a state of constant negativity. Yeah. Um, and so through my own health problems, I just started to see a different side of medicine um, and wasn't really resonating with that field anymore. Yeah. And I'm glad. Yeah. For your sake, because <laughs> right. then you're bathing in that energy. Right. Yeah, it rubs off. Being um, a projector, too. Yeah. So um, yeah, totally. To see people with with cancer every day for mm. 10 plus years was, was quite a bit. Um, now the genetics I do is much more on the preventive side. Mm. So really looks at multiple genes, just how you're made up, but can just tell you how you process naturally, how you process foods, vitamins, neurotransmitters. And yes, it can say where you might have deficiencies, but there's also ways to 
turn that around through different diet, lifestyle, yeah. supplementation. Um, and so it's really helpful and it takes a lot of the guesswork out of your day-to-day -day eating and supplements. I think people get so caught up in whatever diet is popular or when yeah. someone else gets results or what someone else is doing and everyone has such a unique makeup and this gives you a good idea of what's going to optimize your health. Yeah, totally. And uh, I think I'm going to get uh, a test. Okay. I'm going to get my first genetic test um, sometime in the next month or so. Um, so maybe what we can do is um, when we get the results, we can jump back on the camera and you can uh, give me the download. Okay. As long as you don't tell me I'm going to get cancer, I'll be I all right. Won't. I'll be all right. <laughs> But, uh, hey, this yeah. test doesn't even look, look for that. Okay, so this, is good. <laughs> so this is a different one. It sounds a bit yeah. more natural and a bit yes. more wholesome and uh, positive Absolutely. moving forward. Yes. So yeah, yeah, I'm excited to, because I used to have a lot of health problems, mm -hmm. but I've spent a lot of um, energy and time on my health, but it's always good and I've never had a genetic test. So it'd be really good for me to fit that into my own intuition. Right. And be like, oh, I think I like I really feel better on these foods, but you might be like, you know, maybe not. And then I can tune in a bit more and find out. So that's exciting. Yes. And um, it's it's definitely a more positive experience. No one has perfect genetics. Everyone's built a little bit differently. Yeah. Um, there's nothing that's really bad on the test. It's just a, a way to adjust what you're working with. Awesome. And can someone else just go get this test and read their results? Is that like, do you recommend that or do you recommend that you read the results or what's? Um, so you, someone can order the test. How the results come back are in 90 pages and it is a lot of scientific data. Okay. Um, what I do is take that and put it into maybe a page or two. Mm. And generally what I see is just common themes come up and then can talk to people about how to change their diet or what they might be susceptible to. And I'm trained in integrative health and functional medicine as well now. And so sometimes things that come up on the test um, that someone might be concerned about, there can then be other things to confirm what's going on. So um, it's the results, but then it's more like of a total health awesome. overlook. Awesome. So you like uh, you have an ability naturally having 15 years in genetics to be able to read and comprehend and distill some major themes and then deliver that in a much simpler way. Yeah, and in a much more positive fashion than just reading a bunch of scientific data in 90 sure. pages. Yeah, I wouldn't get through the 90 pages. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested in that. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to uh, to find out what happens and how my body's uh, looking and maybe we can check back in. Um, in a month or so when they come through. Yeah, that sounds great. And uh, let whoever's watching uh, know what's happening within my body and hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> uh, I think it'll be all right. I think you'll have good genes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, awesome. And you are also, just to name, you've got a website in case people wanted to message you, ask you some questions or whatever. Mm -hmm. So my website is uniquewellnesscodes.com and my Instagram is at uniquewellnesscodes and I share a ton of information and videos on Instagram. Yeah, you do on Instagram. You have a lot of live videos just like letting people know about some really interesting information. So I often find myself over there having a look. So awesome. Well, right. I think that's all. Yeah, I just wanted yeah. to introduce you to genetic well-being and uh, having that as a possibility maybe for uh, increasing your health and wellness. See you in the next video. Whoa.